A few days ago, I started my journey to grinding ghosts. And as I said in that video, within Skyblock I've never found an actual consistent money making method that I enjoy. And to be fair, I quite enjoyed grinding ghosts and I still do. Having said that, with the setup that I was using, I was only managing to make around about 8 million coins per hour. Which isn't too bad, but we can definitely do better. Now the main problem that I had, and the reason why I wasn't making so much money, was because of my magic find. As you can see, it's 129. Not only that, because I couldn't straight up one hit them, I had to rely on the Crimson Armor's secret ability to actually get basically consistent one hits. And even at the best of times, I'd say it was probably about 75% a one hit, and the rest of the time it was two hits, which obviously isn't massively efficient. Having said that, these two pieces of Crimson Armor are pretty trash. So we're going to change that today. Also, I got quite a few comments saying that one of the main factors to actually making coins from ghosts is leveling golden dragons, because you get quite a lot of combat XP for killing ghosts. Now, I'm not going to lie, it takes a lot of XP to level golden dragons. Not only does it take a lot of XP, to really make the golden dragon worth it, you have to have quite a decent amount of money in the bank, and also, for the most part, a decent gold collection. However, the great thing about golden dragons as well, is not only does it make you do quite a lot of damage really, um, it also gives you a magic find bonus which is something that I will definitely welcome. As you can see by our purse, we're not really in any situation to buy a maxed out golden dragon and have a billion coins in the bank because that's just not going to happen. Now something else to consider is bestiary, okay so the more, the more ghosts that you kill, the more magic find you're going to have against them, the stronger you're going to become against them. So in essence, the more ghosts that we kill, the better we become, the more money we make and the stronger we get. So today's video might not be so much about being able to make more coins, but it's about future proofing. Today we're going to spend a lot of coins in the hopes that in the future we can make a lot more coins. And first of all, we're going to start with our armor situation. We're going to stick with Necron boots and we're going to stick with Trancher helmet. Both the Trancher helmet and the Necron boots are pretty good. I guess the Trancher helmet could do with a little bit of an upgrade, but it's not too bad. However, we can pretty much just discard this crimson armor. We need to buy new and we need to upgrade. So one factor that determines how good your potential Crimson Armor or any Crimson Isle set can be is your reputation. Now my reputation is only 3000 so it isn't very good to be honest I have pretty limited progression within the Crimson Isles to be honest. However I got 3000 reputation, I just paid for a burning tier carry which sent me back 17 mil. That's a lot of coins but you know what? If that's the price you've got to pay, that's the price you've got to pay. If you guys are looking for Kudra carries, you can join our Discord, or you can just join this Discord directly. It's called Kudra Gang. We're partnered with them. You can simply just go to the server, and they do carries. So if you ever need help with any tier, you can definitely find carries there. And if you need any other carries in terms of dungeons or slayers, then we've definitely got you covered. You should join our Discord server. It's linked in the description of the video. Anyway, the reason why the reputation limits you is just simply because the attributes that you need you may not actually be able to use. And the attributes you can't use will show up in red. For instance, fortitude, something that I can't use. Now ideally, we'd get a piece with magic find on because, well, I'll take all the magic find bonus that we need. Now, the only issue with that is to use the magic find attribute, you need at least 12,000 reputation, which I am nowhere near getting. So to be quite honest, even though we could potentially use that in the future, at the moment, yeah, um, it's kind of pointless. So I've decided to go for Veteran and Dominance. And we're only going to buy new leggings and new chest plate. Now just for Veterans and Dominance 2, it's 5.5. Okay, ideally I want something better than that. Okay, Dominance 3, Veteran 3 is 8 mil. Okay, this looks like a bit of a steal. Dominance 5, Veteran 4, 18.5. Um, okay. However, I think Dominance 4 Veteran 5 is slightly more beneficial and it's only about 3.5 mil more. So we're going to go for this for our chest plate. I think that seems like the best option. Okay, and then we've got some Dominance 5 Veteran 4 leggings for 12 mil. So we're going to pick those up too. Not a bad deal. And we're going to collect both of our pieces of armor. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to put the essentials on. Okay, there we go. Um, depending on how many coins I have left towards the end of the video will basically determine what ultimate enchant we put on because I don't want to waste my coins putting legion on it and then not being able to afford what I need to afford. Okay, gemstones. Okay, um, like 45 mil later worth of gemstones. I mean, so annoying how much it actually costs to gemstone these pieces or any pieces. Uh, and that's not even taking into account the gemstones themselves. And we're literally going broke, so um, I guess fines it is for now. 
Okay, now to actually upgrade the armor, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get considering I only have 14 teeth and 9 heavy pearls, but I guess we'll just see. I honestly have never upgraded any Crimson Isle armor before, so we'll have to see how this goes. I really did not know that you could upgrade Crimson Isle's armor sets in the dungeon hub. Wait, what? Okay, now it starts to use heavy pearls, I get it. I guess we can spend majority of our heavy pearls on the chest plate. Like, what does this take to upgrade? If we want to go to hot, takes 10 cruiser teeth, which we can do, actually, to be fair. We can take that to hot, so that's not bad. And then we can do a little bit of work on our leggings, too, as much as we can for now. Okay, so this is as far as we can go with the amount of heavy pearls that we have and teeth. So, which really means to, to get this armor to be any better... Um, yeah, we need to do more Kudra and we need to do, I guess, the Heavy Pearls daily in the Crimson Isles, which is, you know, which is fine. I just need to do that. And actually, we should be able to upgrade this chest plate even more. It's just Essence, which I guess we can buy as well. I don't really know how much I'm buying, but I'm just going to buy some. It's not really that expensive anymore, to be fair. Okay, yeah, so I think this is where we're going to basically finish our armor up for now. Okay, so we've got our um, our chest plate, we've got it as hot, and we've got it 7-starred, which is not too bad. Our leggings are just regular, but they're 8-starred, so this should, in, in theory, substantially help us. So now if we go over to our wardrobe, we can replace this yucky crimson with some lovely crimson. There we go. Much better. Put it on. However, at this moment in time, we still haven't sorted our pet out, and, um, well, I guess bye-bye to the rest of my coins. Okay, it's time to do it. This is the Golden Dragon we're going to buy. It's level 102, and it's around about 700 mil. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm, I am really grinning it. I'm really grinning and burning it, but we've got, hmm, just shy of 400 mil left. Now, something that I do want to do is put a Lucky Clover on this. She's going to set us back 6.2 mil on its own, but it'll be worth it. Okay, there we go. So now our magic find is up to 149. We get a bonus 11 just for killing ghosts. So we will have 160 magic find, which is getting better. Now I'm considering putting Legion 5 on both of these pieces, but I don't think it's worth 50 mil. Especially when I could do with saving some coins. But maybe in the future when we have um, a bit more of a surplus, we'll do that. Okay, so we've got our new setup on, we've got our golden dragon pair, it's time to give this a test. And I don't mean test in terms of coins, because I doubt we'll really make that much more, considering our magic finds has gone up by like 30, which is good. It'll be better though. Of course, like, we will get better once we get around to getting our gold collection up to 10, it'll give us a little bit of a boost. And also, when we actually get a billion coins in the bank, we'll do quite substantially more damage. So we're actually dealing about 40k less damage because we were previously using a Mithril Golem pet which gave us quite a lot of damage while on mine islands, which obviously, you know, in in theory we have upgraded. And like I said, once we have more coins in the bank, better gold collection and upgraded our Crimson a little bit more, we should be sweet to be honest. Eventually when we can, you know, get even stronger, probably get to combat 60, probably then be able to switch to a, a Sorrow set, which means we can get way more magic finds. So I don't know, that's the plan. Anyway, from here, my plan is just to basically try to level this Golden Dragon as much as I possibly can. Try to get my Crimson better. And yeah, I, I guess it's just a case of get, killing some ghosts. But this setup is actually now worth very close to 2 billion coins, which is kind of crazy. Now, something I do need to invest in is my equipment. Because, number one, um, well, half of my equipment is sort of geared to using a Hyperion. And the other half is, honestly, I, I don't even know what. Plus the attributes on these um, on these equipment it is just not good at all. So when I do get some coins back, potentially we could sell some pets that I don't use. Um, I will be upgrading this equipment too. But for now, that's where we're going to end the video. Spent a lot of coins in this video. Probably the best part of 8 or 900 million. Takes our setup cost to close to 2 billion coins. But in the long run, it's in the name of progression. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.